120 hungry diners, four full meal times a day, and two months between resupply. The Joyce resolution operates 24-7, and that means a kitchen that runs around the clock, too. Alex Trotta is one of two camp bosses who run what essentially is a full-service restaurant in the most remote stretches of ocean around the world. I am in charge of the catering department, food, housekeeping, and try to do my best to accommodate my good clients. For one of the scientists, Nicola. Besides remembering birthdays and accommodating special requests, Trotta tries to make his international diners happy. About the menus, I used to check the nationalities that I have on board during the leg, and then I see if I have like six Japanese, two Russians, ten Americans, Italians, French, Dutch, etc., etc. And then I try to make my menus with little bit of, you know, everything to, to please our clients. One day Chinese, next day uh, uh, occasion food, the other day the pastas for the Italians, etc., etc. To run the restaurant at sea takes a lot of planning. The fresh fruits and vegetables come from the local ports of call. Most other supplies are ordered and shipped from Houston, Texas. The amounts are impressive. Take flour. 1,200 kilograms every leg. Every leg. 1,000 kgs of classic rice. And then I have another 200 kgs of basmati rice. 1,200 dozen of eggs. Spirits, chicken, hamburger, uh, corn. Barbecues are a highlight of the week, and he pulls out all the stops for holidays. Trotta is philosophical about the shelf life of fresh fruits and vegetables, though. 31, 31 days, 35 days, and no more fresh vegetables. It's a challenge, but, you know, we, we, we survive but with spices, creativity, and skill. Trotta and his staff make dining aboard the Joides Resolution a pleasure for the entire expedition. Hi, welcome to Joides Resolution.